All right guys let's not waste any time here's the official circuit diagram for the TDA7388 amplifier I followed this design step by step a few quick connections and boom the amplifier is ready to go But raw power needs cooling, so I mounted a solid heat sink to keep the TDA7388 cool even at higher volumes. The heat sink I used is salvaged from a old car amplifier. The final body setup, a proper CPU fan for cooling and a little RGB strip for that DIY gamer look. At the back, I added 3 connectors for left, right and ground input plus a 12 volt power input socket. On the left, we've got 4 wire connectors and on the right, another 4. These are directly tied to the TDS7388 speaker outputs. And to power all this, no, not a regular adapter, I used my own DIY high ampere 12 volt PSU. Because why buy when you can build one, right? Now for the real test, I hooked up a total of 4 speakers, 2 oval shaped coaxials with seal enclosures, which didn't show much phone exertion since they are sealed and two subwoofers for that heavy bass punch. I played some funk tracks and some proper heavy bass music and this little TDA7388 did not disappoint.
So that's the build, a DIY TDS 7388 amplifier setup with proper cooling, RGB and enough bass to annoy the neighbors. If you enjoyed this project, make sure to like the video, drop your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more crazy DIY builds. See you in the next one.